Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna do some Christmas bacon. I'm gonna do some chocolate chip cookies, and I'm gonna use red and green M&Ms to make them more Christmas looking. I wanted to share that recipe with you. Um, this time of year, I love bacon. That's probably the first love of cooking that I ever had was to bake. And so, um, I can remember um, my mother staying up all hours of the night doing Christmas bacon to take to other people or to have at the house when we had company. Anyway, Christmas is always a very special time of year for us. Let me grab a knife. I'm gonna sift two and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour. There's the fourth cup. And here's my one cup. Lord, I've had these measuring cups for I don't know, 30 years, they're still working, they're still good. Let's get a bowl. All right, here's one, and two and a fourth cup of flour. This is my mama's recipe that she used. It's just a good, all-purpose, uh, chocolate chip cookie recipe. Let me set that out of the way. We're gonna put in one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt, and then sift this and set it aside. There's my baking soda. And salt. to the side. Let's go ahead and sift this. I'm going to make these for some neighbors to take to them for Christmas. Okay. We'll set that to the side. And then in my mixer, I'm going to combine one cup of shortening, which is, I'm going to use these Crisco sticks. You need one cup of vegetable shortening or Crisco. And this one is one cup. Yeah, let me just double check. And we're going to mix that. We're gonna mix that with three-fourths cup of white granulated sugar and three-fourths cup of brown sugar. And I use light brown sugar in mine. There's my white granulated sugar. And I need my brown sugar. Push that out of the way. three-fourths cup, and you want to pack that. I just use my hands, pack it down. My hands are clean. Three-fourths cup. And let me set that to the side. And what we're going to do is add in um, one teaspoon of vanilla. And I have one that's almost empty, so I wanted to use it first. one teaspoon of vanilla, and a half of a teaspoon of water. And I'm just gonna run a little bit out of the tap. And just get about a half a teaspoon of water, and I am gonna cream that. While that's creaming, I'm gonna go ahead and break my eggs, two eggs, into a measuring cup just so I don't get any shells in. I can check it for that. Alright, there's my two eggs. And once this creams, we're going to add in our eggs. Okay. 
Then I'm gonna slowly add in my flour mixture, about a half at a time. You can use a handheld electric mixer for this. You don't have to have a stand-up mixer. push down the sides, get everything incorporated. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna double check my recipe. We sifted two and a fourth cups of flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, set it aside. Combine one cup of shortening, three-fourths cup of white granulated sugar, three-fourths cup of packed brown sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, and a half teaspoon of water. Beat until creamy. Add your two eggs, and then you're gonna put your flour mixture in, mix it well, and then at the very end, we're gonna add in our chocolate chip. And you can use any kind of chocolate chip you want. If you like white chocolate chip, dark chocolate chip, milk chocolate chip, these green and red M&Ms are great for the holidays. That's what I'm gonna use for this recipe. But you can use any chocolate chip you like. semi sweet, you name it, you can use it. Okay. I'm just gonna give that a little mix. off and yes I'm using my fingers my hands are clean and then I've got a parchment lined paper parchment paper lined cookie sheet that I'm gonna use and these are going into a 375 degree preheated oven which I have not done yet, but I'm going to. And I'm gonna use my little scoop and scoop them onto here. I'm gonna get my oven preheating and we'll have some Christmas cookies to take to the neighbors. Just like that. And I'll continue to fill that and pop those into the oven eight to 10 minutes and you don't want to overcook them. Christmas cookies, y'all. That's what I'm doing in my kitchen today. Give it a try. Merry Christmas. Make some goodies for somebody else. It'll make you feel good. We'll see you later. Cookies are out nine minutes exactly on 375, and I have let them cool, and I'm just going to use my little tins. I got these at Michael's, I think they were $3.19 each after the discount. And I'm gonna fill these, and that's what I'm gonna take as a gift for Christmas to some of my neighbors. Happy baking season, it is here. Merry Christmas. Chocolate chip cookies, y'all.